Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Major. I just want to make this video. This is a kind of an old story because this happened back in August of 2013. But it's happened in Dover, Delaware, small state. But um, at the time, there was a call because there was a fight at a at a, a gas station. Uh, police came. There's one gentleman that was walking away, and uh, you s see on the dash cam, you know, they tell him to get on the ground. But then as you see the two cops come into the scene, one cop comes behind the guy, he's already complying, he's putting his hands above his head, just showing that he doesn't have any weapons, he's no threat. Cop tries to kick him in the back of the knees to drop him. He doesn't go down, but he does comply by starting to go down. So as he's coming down, the one cop who kicks him in the back of the leg, uh, he basically takes like a, a Adam Ventieri uh, punt and kicks the dude right in the face, knocking him out. He falls face first. Um, the guy suffers from a broken jaw and a couple of lacerations on his face. Now, um, this kind of thing is what I'm talking about. When I make my videos, uh, once again, violence against civilians, I understand it's a high stressful job as a cop. Uh, I can never say that I understand how easy it is to be an officer of the law because there's always going to be situations where there's a lot of adrenaline flowing and this isn't me condemning cops but in this instance where this guy is completely complying with the orders of the police uh, to be kicked in the face while he's going down defenseless um, it's real bullshit now as I'm reading the story it did say that the cop was put on paid administrative leave and he was off for a while uh, pending an investigation he was back on the force and then there was uh, another investigation a civil suit but it's just these kind of things that are happening uh, once again this isn't me calling out against uh, the cops I know I make a lot of these stories and you see a lot of information about uh, things happening especially when with uh, Freddie Gray in Baltimore you have Eric Harris in Tulsa Oklahoma getting shot by a, a reservist uh, who mistaken his taser and his gun you have Eric Garner you have Michael Brown you have a lot of these instances where excuse me we have a uh, where people are getting killed or assaulted you had the one gentleman in California who was kicked off the horse after trying to flee from police and cops just coming up and beating the shit out of him I even saw a story a couple weeks ago where in New York the uh, cops had this 12 year old kid pinned up against the hood of the car putting cuffs on and then you see this other plain clothes cop come the fuck out of nowhere and start raining uppercuts and hooks into this young kid's ribs uh, it's just stuff like this where having cameras is so important and ever since uh, the incident with Rodney King a lot more people are conscious about the interactions between motorists or civilians and law enforcement um, even saw one story I believe it's out in uh, California uh, US Marshals basically snatched the phone from the woman's hands because she was recording the incident that was uh, during an arrest and he basically smashed her phone I saw another instance where uh, at a gas station this group of guys they were um, standing there and one cop comes up to the girl and he starts touching all over and the guy didn't like it so the guy asked his friend for the phone next thing you know cops are getting up on this guy trying to seize the phone from this guy they handcuff him put him in the car and as a cops about to pull away the fucking cop just opens up the window and throws the phone you know shattering the screen of the phone it's just stuff like this uh, it is a first amendment right to record police officers as long as you're within safe distance as long as you are not interfering with the investigation or the arrest then you as a civilian me as a civilian we have a right to film the police but when you see instances of this happening where cops are going above the law and doing the things that they do it's no wonder that there's this uh, this gap this um, broken trust between people and cops once again several good cops out there I know one gentleman that I went to high school with he's a cop and I have nothing against him but when bad things happen and there's cops that uh, do stupid shit it makes good cops look bad so once again this isn't me condemning all cops because there's a lot of good law enforcement out there but there's also a lot of fucked up cops out there anyway I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to this video I thought it was inf interesting um, they're just showing the dash cam information now uh, when I checked out CNN.com
But uh, what happened to this gentleman was totally uncalled for, the way the cop just squares off and kicks this guy right in the face, knocking him out, and then, of course, him suffering a broken jaw. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Peace.